Fashion's Northwest Regional Organiser, United Against Fascism. Thanks, Theresa. Uh, why it's taking me so long to walk up here is a very good sign because it shows the breadth and strength of the weight behind this campaign from, as Theresa said, you know, MPs, trade unionists uh, and others. Um, I'm going to be very brief because uh, a lot of you will have heard what I said earlier today, but the basic points about the Nick Griffin Must Go campaign are these. Griffin was elected with only 8%. He only needs approximately 8% to win again in 2014. Griffin, Nick Griffin, has been writing by post to everyone who voted for him in 2009. So he's already putting the work in. The economic crisis which is coming up presents the far right with an opportunity to exploit that situation in 2014. And as I said before, look at what happened in the Rotherham by-election mm. when the Nazi DMP came ahead of the two coalition parties, Lib Dems and Tories. We can't write these people off. People wrote Jean-Marie Le Pen's Front National off in France. You know, there was a split in that party. Even one of his own daughters actually left to join the rival party. Griffin, uh, sorry, Le Pen, at his own national conference, played I Will Survive. <laughs> a racist homophobe plays I Will Survive at his national conference. But actually, it gives you an indication of the state the Front National were in at that time. Now look at them. So it's absolutely vital. We need this campaign to kick Nick Griffin out in 2009, uh, 2014. And what we'll say is this. We need to mobilise. We need you. What today is about is we need you to go back to whatever organisations you're involved in. Trade unions, political parties, faith groups. We need your input into how we build this campaign. That means people to deliver leaflets, set up stalls, put on events and so on. So there's two things I'm asking you, if you don't do anything else, two things to take out of today. Set up a local meeting. We've had one, a very good one in Thameside, a very good one in Manchester, to which we invited councillors, trade unionists and so on. And we plan in these meetings how to build the campaign locally. The last